Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, my dear students and audience. In this video, we will study covariance, regression, and correlation. I would suggest or encourage you to watch the earlier video, Statistics 1, uh, before going through it. It would become very easy for you to understand these concepts. So, covariance. When we are interested in studying more than one variable in a population, so covariance becomes important. It is a measure of how two variables vary together. Uh, we denote it by a Greek letter sigma, and its sigma is denoted by uh, x, y, because two variables are involved. If it's only x, then it is standard deviation, but if it's x and y, then it is covariance between x and y. It could be positive or negative. A positive covariance means with increase in one trait, the other trait would also increase. A negative covariance means the increase in one trait would result in decrease in other trait. So its formula is a, a little bit tricky. Covariance of xy is sigma xy is equal to summation of x minus x var multiplied by y minus y var and this whole expression divided by n minus 1 where n is number of individuals in the sample or in population. So this table tells us how to calculate covariance. We have four cows and we have uh, uh, recorded their dry matter intake, three or five day dry matter intake which is denoted by x and we have recorded their three or five day milk yield which is denoted by y. So we have data in these four cows and we have calculated their means here for uh, dry matter intake and milk yield and we have calculated variance. Uh, for details of these things you should, I would refer you to statistics one video, uh, how to estimate mean and variance. So in this, uh, uh, this column x minus x by we, we subtract uh, 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 mean of x from each value of x, minus 150, minus 50, plus 150, and plus 450. And similarly for y, we subtract uh, y bar, average of y, uh, from every value of milk yield, 1500 minus 1750 minus 250, and then minus 50, plus 50, plus 250. Keep in mind, uh, these deviation uh, columns, if we add this, this should end at 0 here. So in this uh, last column, we multiplied the values of last two columns, multiplied minus 550 with minus 250 is plus 137,500. Minus 50 multiplied by minus 50 is 2500. 150 multiplied by plus 50 is 7500. And similarly, 100, 12,500. So if we add all these values, this becomes summation of x minus x bar multiplied by y minus y bar, which is 260,000. So what is covariance? We have already known from the formula, it is x minus x bar, y minus y bar divided by n minus 1. Keep in mind, we have four cows, so we have n is equal to 4. And this 260,000 divided by 3, it is 86,666. This would be our covariance. If you are successful in calculating covariance and variance, it would be very easy if we have covariance of x, y with us, and we have variance of x and variance of y. If you have all these three values, you can easily calculate regression and correlation. So what is regression? Regression comes into play when two or more variables of interest are involved. Uh, in case of regression, we divide the variables in two uh, types, dependent variable, which is usually a variable, variable of interest, for example, milk yield of cows or crop yield, and independent variable. These are the factors that influence our dependent variable, for example, amount of fertilizer or amount of concentrate feed. So in simple words, regression coefficient tells us the in change in y in response to one unit change in x or change in dependent variable in response to one unit change in independent variable or change in milk yield of cows in response to one unit change in dry matter intake or concentrate feed 
whatever you call it. So simple linear regression, its equation is y is equal to alpha plus beta x. So y is value of dependent variable, for example, milk yield. X is value of independent variable, for example, dry matter intake. Alpha is predicted value of y when x is equal to zero. If you have zero intake, then what would be the milk yield? This is alpha and beta is regression coefficient or slope, which we calculate in next slide. So regression coefficient is denoted by beta or b. It is uh, beta x y, which is regression of y on x. So regression of y on x. We read it from uh, uh, right to left. And beta x y is equal to its formula is covariance of x and y divided by variance of y. So covariance is basically sigma, sigma x y divided by sigma square y. Continuing from data on slide three, we already have estimated covariance and variance. So covariance is 86,000, covariance of x, y is 86,000, and blah, 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 and uh, variance of uh, y is uh, 43,333, and we are getting the value of regression coefficient as two. What does two mean? It suggests that which each one kilogram increase in three or five day dry matter intake would result in two kilogram increase in three or five day milk yield in cows. And the next parameter is correlation. It is a measure of strength of relationship between two variables. And uh, value of correlation coefficient ranges between minus one and plus one. And uh, uh, here, uh, uh, it is denoted by small Greek small letter rho. Rho x y is correlation between x and y, and its formula is slightly different from regression. Covariance of x y numerator is same, but denominator is square root of variance of x multiplied by variance of y. So we have already estimated variance of x and variance of y, and uh, it is very easy to calculate correlation here. So rho xy is equal to uh, sigma xy divided by sigma square x, sigma square y multiplied and taking their under root. So here we are putting the values. We have value of, of uh, covariance of xy from our previous slide number three, which is 86,666. And uh, we just need to multiply variance of x by variance of y and then take their under root, which is 87,496. And uh, this comes in equal to 0.99, indicating that there is strong positive correlation between a 3 or 5 day dry matter intake and 3 or 5 day milk yield. Correlation is interdependent, no trait is dependent on other, no one is in, uh, dependent, no one is independent, both are independent on each other. Correlation has no unit. So, strong uh, correlation means uh, uh, positive correlation means. Traits are positively related. Negative correlation means traits are negatively related. Take home message covariance tells us how two traits vary together. Regression tells us the magnitude of change in one variable with per unit change in other. And correlation tells us how two traits are related with each other with magnitude and direction. If direction is positive, it's a positive value, then traits are positively correlated. If the uh, sign is negative, then they are negatively correlated and their magnitude tells the severity of this relationship. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, you can contact me.